Mosquera Pare almost lost it. Cromer, opposite block to Glass, lays it up and in, a 2-0 start. Ball taken away by Glass. He's trying to put the first four points up on the board, and he does. No good to Merriweather. Now to Mascara Pare, all the way to the hoop, right hand layup, good. 6-0 starts. Glass, boys looking for another bucket. Nice running hook shot. Boy, Tevin Glass, very aggressive. Michigan in for the Buccaneers. TJ Cromer, awkward looking shot, took a little bit of a bump. Jesse Deloach, another athletic, raw post player. The bright future. There's a shot for three. Yeah, good job by Sled, holding his ground. Pugsley had his pocket pick. Jermaine Long, finger roll layup, good. Second steal for the Bucks. It results in a coast-to-coast -coast layup. This one no good. Cromer tapped it to the wrong team. Sled hook shot no good. Matumbo follows and gets it to go. Over to Merriweather, trying to get to the rim. Bell out pass to Payne. Step back threes up and in. Now he blocked by Mascara Perea, and DeSante Bradford just flushed it home with a left hand. Payne uses two screens and step back. Fall away three, and he hit it. Boy, ETSU off to a hot start already. A run out for Peterson, and he'll miss a two-handed dunk. Then Matumbo got his shot blocked. Then Matumbo laid it up and in. He has, and we talked about the depth up front with those young guys. Pugsley from the parking lot nails a three. Merriweather in the corner, shot for a three is up and in. Ball knocked away and another steal. Merriweather in front of the pack, he can fly and he flushes it. Oh man, outside the paint, a tomahawk. Ball knocked away and another steal. Merriweather in front of the pack, he can fly and he flushes it. Dead ball, if they can get there, Tevin Glass lay up good. Glass 10 points in the first half already. In all season, that's not a shocker. Goslin, nice move to get to the rim and a layup. Good boy, now that was a nice play. On to Tevin Glass, one dribble shot off the, high off the glass is up and in. Try to go inside the glass, tough catch, tough finish, wow. Inside of Mascara Perea, nice move on the baseline, got past the freshman who passes on a layup attempt. Out to Steger, back to back triples for him. It's a four on two. Cromer will trot from the right side, misses from the left. Knocks it down from, well, go to Cromer, wants it back. Cromer will drive, force up a shot. He got it to go, that's an unbelievable shot. Kicked it back out. Ike Banks, right hand layup off the glass is good. He's got four points. Long to Williams, the lob. Devontavious Payne from Williams is up and good. Matumbo all the way in over a couple of big guys able to get that to go. Wants a three, can't get it. Ike Banks, strong rebound and a putback. Brooks somehow came up with a basketball. They tried to throw down low to Stager. Stager. The 60s, head toward postseason. Big, strong, athletic guy. Going to draw a lot of contact. Get good. T.J. Cromer, an offensive rebound. He'll put it up in it. That's still up 72-48. Shot blocked by Mascara Perea. Cromer couldn't save it. Came up and under shot. No good. It came back down to Devontae Fuller. And then he'll... Williams will drive the lob, and David Burrell will put the exclamation point on the win. So that'll do it. ETSU will pick up the victory. 75-52 over the Catamounts of Western Carolina. Your thoughts real quick, Bruce. Dominant performance by ETSU against a young Western Carolina ball club looking for an offensive identity. Inside Freedom Hall tonight, ETSU victorious 75-52 over Western Carolina. Joined by the head coach at ETSU, head coach Steve Forbes. And Coach, it really started early uh, with the Bucks creating some defensive steals and some easy transition buckets. Yeah, you know, I was really, ex I was really happy the way we guarded early and throughout the whole game, really, Jay. You know, uh, we let we held them in the low 30s uh, defensive field goal percentage wise, and then we came out and really shot the ball well. I didn't even tell our team at halftime that we had shot 73 percent in the first half, and you know, we had a couple of our post players go perfect for the game. Tevin Glass, seven for seven. Hunter Perea, four for four. And even Ike Banks was three for four. You know, 14 for 15, and the paint's pretty good. And you're able to, for, to force a uh, season high 27 turnovers. Cash goes into 23 yeah. points off and, the turnovers. You know, I felt, I told him after the game, I felt like we had a really strong defensive presence today. And we didn't press. You know, we just, we, we turned them over 27 times playing half court man to man. And so uh, I think that's a testament to where our team is defensively and where we can be as the season rolls along. Sticking uh, with one more defensive question, you, you hold them to no players in, in double figures, and they're a young team trying yeah. to figure some things yeah. out, but certainly uh, the defensive pressure and, and not allowing anybody to get going certainly a key to the game. I was real pleased. I, 
all the way through. And I thought, you know, everybody starters, but I thought Jermaine Long really came in and helped us defensively. I, he's so good at the top there. He's long and athletic. He gets his hands on the ball a lot. And I really like the way he's defending. I like the way A.J. Merriweather's defending. He had six steals in the game. And uh, all in all, it was, a, it was a really good effort. You know, the second half got a little ragged, but – I knew we wouldn't shoot 73% for the whole game, and we tried that against uh, what game was that? We shot almost 70%. Oh, was that Fordham? Fordham, I think. I think. Yeah. But we, you know, 57%. Obviously, we take that every time. You look at uh, the contest, and this was a game where where you you have to bounce back against UNCG. Yeah. Certainly, you kind of wondering about the mental state, but th there really wasn't. I mean, it was from no. the start of the game, and I know it got sloppy thin, but but really yeah. the first 30 minutes of the game, it was never in doubt. You know, I thought they really had a great mindset the last 36, 48 hours. You know, at Friday, Saturday, they they were really uh, good on Friday, and today they had. You were here. They had a good spirit to them, and. We talked a lot about that. I was worried about them, not physically but mentally, because they were devastated after getting beat, you know, at home. They they, they take a lot of pride in, in winning at home, and, and that hurt. And I'm glad it hurt. It should hurt if you care about what you're doing. And But I thought we came out in a very businesslike attitude today and, and got – done what we needed to get done. Comments from head coach Steve Forbes. His team victorious today 75-52 to over Western Carolina. The Bucks will take on the Furman Paladins on Thursday.